What's up Ravens? I'm Kenny Fergoso alongside Katie Vaughn and this is a special edition of Game Day Northwest. We will have previews for girls basketball, boys basketball, diving and wrestling. The winter sports teams have gotten off to a fantastic start. The varsity girls basketball team took their first win on Friday night over Emporia finishing with a score of 72 to 48. Kenya has the inside scoop. basketball team started out strong this year with an amazing win of 72 to 48 against Emporia on Friday. We know for sure these girls have an amazing season coming up. With seven returners and excellent varsity experience, the team has been practicing and putting in so much effort for this season. Um, the goals for our team um, this year include um, competing in, in all of our regular season games and uh, you know, we, we want to make it to the state tournament this year, and we don't want to just make it to the state tournament. We want to win it all. Um, we really think we have the talent level and uh, depth and leadership to do some of these things, but uh, um, time will tell, and uh, it's going to be our goals to implement that throughout the season. Hardworking players like Jayla Jackson, who was a second-team All-State player and first-team All-Sunflower League. I have um, a quick pull-up jumper, and um, I have the ability to get to the rack um, anytime I want. I can create shots for others. Ashlyn Lanher also has honorable mention Sunflower League. As a point guard, I dribble the ball a lot and I pass the ball a lot and I'd like to do that. Um, I shoot threes, I guess. <laughs> um, and then I really like playing defense too, so that's one thing. Senior Hannah Kovarik knows what hard work is all about. Uh, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for it all year. Um, we have a good team once everyone gets healthy and I feel like we have a lot of uh, potential so we'll see where it takes us. Unlike last year with two to three people being looked at by different colleges, this year we have five to six girls being looked at by Division I schools. Um, we have a lot of team speed and athleticism. Um, we've got a lot of smarts, we've got a lot of kids that are um, not only bright academically um, but just basketball IQ wise. Um, knowing where to be at certain times, um, how to respond and react and play the game really well. You know, I really like to challenge uh, any students, anybody in the community has not been to a, a Raven basketball game uh, to come out this year, um, um, boys and girls. Uh, we're gonna have two, two top teams in the state of Kansas are playing right here in our gymnasium. Good luck to the girls and we hope they can play to their potential and win state. Congratulations to the team on their first win. The wrestling team hopes to create another successful season with the help of key athletes. Daniel Lignon has a preview of what we can expect from the team. The wrestling season is off to a great start this year, having hard, intense practices every day after school. Connor Middleton, the 152-pound state champ, and Eric Haynes are the team captains, leading the team to be the very best they can be every day. Under new management this year by head coach Steve Mesa, the team is looking to build and become a very big competitor in our and the surrounding school districts. This has been Daniel and Jan signing off. Back to you guys at the desk. The boys basketball team is expected to have one of the best seasons in Olathe Northwest history. They are currently ranked number two in the state and have multiple players contributing to their up and coming accomplishments. Let's take it to Tanner Music for more. Winter sports are beginning and expectations are high for this year's boys basketball team. Finishing their season at 17-5 last year and falling short of the state tournament to Olathe East in the finals of Substate, senior Davis Reed and junior Trey Bales are key starters hoping to get their team to state for the first time in school history. We we're coming off a good year last year and you know I think all of our goal is to win state, you know, to get to state for the first time in school history. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of what we've, we've set our sights on is to get to the state tournament and to win it. I think what we can do to improve from last year is to just keep working hard and uh, just trust in our coaches. All the hard work and long hours in the gym helps prepare the team for their journey towards the state tournament. We all love it and, and we like being in the gym, but you know, you ask any of us and, and we're in there three hours a day, you know, and Mike G, he loves lo he loves yelling at us a little bit. So you've got to you've got to be tough. And he tells us all the time you got to be both mentally and physically tough.
Head coach Mike Grove has been a part of the Ravens basketball program since the school opened and has experienced many tough wins and hard losses. So I believe our toughest challenge this year is just to get better each and every week. And, um, you know, that's going to take a strong push by all the players. I think if we do that, we've got a chance to be special. Uh, you know, like I said, we want to win a state championship. And, and, you know, looking at those guys working every day, it inspires me to get better as well. This has been Tanner Busick for ONW Now. Back to you guys at the desk. Good luck to the basketball team. Bowling tryouts were held last week. Congratulations to everyone who made the team. We look forward to seeing what they will accomplish after winter break. The boys' swim team is preparing for another great season. The team has several returning swimmers who will construct a powerful group. We look forward to seeing what the boys can do this year. Along with the swimmers, the dive team will be contributing to success at the meets. Brian Wilkin has more. I've been diving for about four and a half years. My goals for this dive season is before Clark joins the team while he's still on club to win the three meets that he's going to miss and then do as best as I can against him the rest of the year and probably hopefully get top three at state and All-American. This year the dive team will be practicing with the swim team at PRT which could affect practice. Um, I mean it's not that much different because we get our own board, our own lane, so we don't have to like dodge them, you know. But it's fun. It, it kind of brings the team closer because we're practicing with them every day, so like we get to hang out with them all the time now. Not only are they practicing with the swim team, the dive team also got a new coach. I love the new coach. He's a great coach. He's helped me a lot so far, and it's only been like three weeks of practice and I'm already improving so I feel like this is going to be a good season with him. You know you're a legitimate diver when you go deep into the internet to find some random person that tie-dyes chamois because you can't really find these like on a regular website. That's dedication. That's, that's what diving means. That's what diving's all about. Dedication and finding a nice tie-dye chamois. This has been Ryan Wilkin reporting for ONW Now. Back to you at the desk. A reminder, Ravens, you can vote for Dalton Rook and Willie Colley for the Air Force Precision Strike Award, recognizing the best quarterback-wide receiver combo. Send Olathe Northwest to the email usaf at thesportsflash.com. Good luck to all the winter athletes. That's all we have for you today on this special edition of Game Day Northwest. For Katie Vaughn, I'm Kenya Fergoso. Have a great day, Ravens.